welcome back to Asset Podcast here on YouTube. Sorry if you hear my air conditioner blaring. It is another. This is uh, started like sec first week of June. This is 22, uh, July 22. Knows it's being filmed. Who knows when it's going up? Every day since it, we had 10 days in a row where it got over 100 and like six. And every day since then, it's never gotten the lowest it's gotten with the heat index, like 105. It's like 87 outside, but feels like 98 right now. And I'm filming this early in the morning. It's just miserable. So I'm actually sitting there sweating as I film. But let's get into the the D, Blu-ray. Sorry, Blu-ray, not DVD. Blu-ray. Can I get that glare? Can we get that glare? Can we can we handle that glare? Let's see. Let's see. Nope, I like that. Is it this? Nope. Okay, that's not a glare I can handle, but I can move this shit to the side. What this is, this is the Blu-ray and digital copy of Candyman, Day of the Dead from Vestron Video Collector Series. I love this number 24. I don't know. Got I've got a few. i got The Wraith. i got Shivers. I'll be honest, right now for the horror, I enjoy getting on Blu-ray because I don't just, a lot of it I just didn't own on DVD or the DVDs look like ash. You know, they look great when we got them and now we're like, ooh, man. That's just barely a step up above a laser disc. And laser does look great back in the day for y'all that didn't have it. Is uh, Vestron, which is a division of Lionsgate, which is a division of what now? Who the fuck owns Lionsgate now? Tom Warner, maybe? I don't fucking know. And there's Screen Factory, you know, from Chow Factory. Well, the thing is, is that usually these Vestrons, you wait a little bit, and you happen to be lucky your Target or Walmart will have these things for like eight bucks. And that's what I paid for this one. That, I paid 13 for the Wraith. Shivers, I probably paid a little bit more, but that's a cheap price because most of those screen factories, cheap as you're going to find them is going to be 20 bucks until you wait a long time, and then they might go out of print. And they both come fully loaded, and they both also do something I don't really like, is that they come up with new art. Like, I don't like, I mean, it's cool. The art is very cool. And this is uh, the third one, Day of the Dead. And I hate that it's on the cover, but I didn't look. No, it's not a reversible cover. Ass. Now, this is one, I'm pretty sure this went direct to video. This came out in what? Late 90s, I'm pretty sure. Let's see here. Candyman is back. He's hooked on revenge as the day of the dead celebration approaches the barrio of East Los Angeles. The torture ghost is intent on bringing his family together in a bloody reunion beyond the grave. Challenge to confront the horrifying legend of her ancestor, Caroline Donna D'Arico, from, uh, that's this lady right here from Baywatch, and I'ma call her. Jessica Alba of this era, Jessica Alba didn't become a big star. And I mean by that, it both very nice looking women. Both of them not the best actresses. Like, they don't have a lot of rage. I mean, Donna D'Erico did a lot less now, but Alba, you know, Dark Angel and piles of movies. It was, you know, fairly big star, Fantastic Four, or shit like that for a while. Donna D'Erico, you know, Playboy, Baywatch, this movie. Let's get back to it here. Okay. Must come to face to face with the monster who destroyed her past and now wants to steal a feature in the third song Electronic Candy Man series. All right, extras. We've got an audio commentary with the director. Something Meyer. I can't read that print. Producer, co writer, Al Septum. Septian. Isolated score selections feature an honor interview with composer. Interviews on the hook. An interview with actor Tony Todd of Bloody Lexi. An interview with special prosthetics effect designer Gary J. Tuncliffe. Decay and Design interviews with director of photography Michael Wojciechowski, I'm guessing. I'm not real great with Polish names, sorry. And it don't make sense because my family on my mother's side came through Poland for they ended up in what's now Croatia. Like a good chunk of my mom's family. I know both her paternal grandparents and one of her maternal, maternal grandparents came through Croatia. Like... Russian, into Poland, then into what was Yugoslavia back then, now it's Croatia. South Yugoslavia. Uh, where was I? In production designer, Mark Renville Mousen. English Dermot Trailers on video. Home. Clips digital copy. I do like that, too. Scream does not give you a digital copy. And be honest, a lot of times with these discs, I don't watch them at my house. We have, me and like a handful of us, like five of us, I think the limit five, have a shared video account. So all digital copies, any movie we buy digitally, you get it on that. We all share it. And that way you have access to where you are. If you got access to internet, you got you know, that. So, uh, movie, it's just okay. I picked this up because it was cheap and I needed this because I want all the candy mints. I really love that first. I'm a huge Clyde Barker fan. I was lucky enough to meet him back when I was... Whew, 
Hmm, I'm trying to remember what it was. I was 14 or 15. I don't, I think I was 14, because I think it happened the year of my 15th birthday, and the convention it happened at was like months before my birthday. But uh, I thought it was sort of horrible. Love his work. Love most of the movies based off his of stuff. And Candyman is one of my really other kids. The first Candyman is one where I have the screen capture release. Where it, like, legit scared me when it came out. I'm watching it going, man, this is fucking creepy. Even though it's changed from the original. You know, the, that one's set in Cabrini Green Housing Projects in Chicago, which is where uh, Good Times, the 70s sitcom with JJ and all of them was based in Florida. The damn, damn, damn. Woman throws down the dish thing from Russell Crap Radio. Um, this one's set in East L.A. and the Barrio. It's... I like they incorporated the Day of the Dead stuff because I love all the stuff. I knew nothing about the holiday, and then I went and moved out to, uh, well, first Port Arthur, Texas, then Nederland, then Beaumont. So, Golden Triangle, Texas. <laughs> you know, the places where you don't want to live in Houston, but you want Houston close by. Uh, and they had a huge Hispanic population. I grew up at on the coast. Back then, there was not that many Hispanics. Hell, I can remember in my elementary school, like, we had one Hispanic girl. And I started learning what they did. Like, I love the imagery of it. I love it. And I kind of like how it's like Catholic, uber Catholic, <laughs> religious Halloween. You know, but it's like the day after. It's like All Souls Day, which I knew of because I was raised Catholic, thanks to my mother. So this being new and then connecting, that was kind of cool. And it's not bad. It's not amazing. If you enjoy the series for the eight bucks, it's definitely worth it. And yeah, there's four of these now. There's going to possibly be a fifth. That's Candyman Day of the Dead. Hope you enjoyed that. Man, if you do, give me that thumbs up, leave a comment. Let's just shit. Talk to everybody later. Bye bye.